The Galactic Empire was in a constant pursuit of rebels and resistance groups in a cat and mouse game. However, it never really managed to defeat them in a major way, ultimately resulting in the eventual defeat on Endor. But why couldn't the Empire defeat the Rebellion? And how could they have lured the rebels into the open to eventually bring them down? Now, we've talked a lot before about how the Rebellion fought the Empire. It was a guerrilla war. They used hit and run tactics and then disappeared. It really was the only way that they could manage this, as in a straight up fight, generally speaking, the rebels would have been massacred as their military was minuscule in comparison to the Imperials. Now, the overarching theme in the Empire is control, and they believed that they could control the galaxy through effectively being everywhere at once, policing streets, setting up blockades, and patrolling hyperspace lanes, etc. The problem with this is, is that it doesn't really matter how big your fleet is, or how many soldiers you have, the galaxy is simply far too big for you to control all of it. The rebels would always be able to escape. There really is infinite places to hide, as well as this, the Empire is so large that it's often very difficult to coordinate themselves. Meaning that, say if a group of rebels are active in one sector of the galaxy, and they then flee to another system, it's likely the Imperials in this new system will not be aware of them, they won't be aware that they're criminals, as they won't be on their wanted lists. I mean, hell, even if you are on the top of the Empire's most wanted list, and you want to hide away for a bit while things cool down, just go stay on some uncharted moon somewhere. Or just go and move your ship a bit out of the way of all major hyperspace lanes, and realistically, you're not going to be found. I mean, think about it, the Rebels base on Hoth, it took months to find, and the Rebel fleet was able to just hide out in the Outer Rim completely undetected. The only time it was ever really put in peril is when it chose to engage with the Empire, or it chose to travel across major hyperspace lanes. The Empire cannot cover all of these places, so how could they have found the Rebels and forced them into conflict similarly to how they did on Hoth? As we know, Hoth was an absolute massacre for the Rebels. They were forced to flee. The only real reason the Rebellion wasn't defeated that day is because the Imperials did a terrible job at stopping the Rebels from escaping. Now, the Rebels, unlike a lot of other groups, are not self-sufficient. They don't grow crops, they don't refine fuel or run factories, they heavily rely on the rest of the galaxy for resources. I mean, do you think that the Rebels were able to make Echo Base without a ton of resources from the outside? Of course not. Now, a lot of this stuff is stolen. However, some of it will have been bought through third parties. But whenever the Rebellion needs to get resources, it's inevitably going to lead a paper trail, because the Empire owns those resources in some way. As an example, if a bunch of construction materials go missing from a certain sector, you may think little of it. However, then say a shield generator goes missing from the same sector in a Rebel heist. You can guess something's happening in that sector. We also have to consider, in the case of Echo Base for example, that they required a lot of specific materials to make living possible on this world. Uh, life support, heating, clothes, etc. So if thousands of pieces of uh, clothing designed for cold weather goes missing, the Empire should be able to say, something is happening on cold surroundings. So by keeping track of all of these resources, which the Empire should have some way of doing since they have a monopoly on basically all galactic trade, these sort of things should be brought up as red flags. So essentially, if you cross-tabulated all of the stuff that's been bought by a mysterious buyer or a suspected rebel sympathizer, with all things that have gone missing or have been stolen in rebel raids, then you should begin to build up a bigger picture about what the rebellion is doing. So are they building something? What sort of location does the equipment suggest? And that really narrows it down. Okay, so this is a great way to track rebel physical bases on planets, but what about the fleets? These move, and there's a lot more places for this to hide, as space is literally space. But fleets are actually more reliant on the Empire and the rest of the galaxy for resources. They need fuel, rations, and, importantly, replacement parts. Huge cruisers like the Mon Calawans that made up the backbone of the Rebel fleet will have required a lot of upkeep. Certain tools and certain parts will have been needed to have been replaced inevitably, especially if they'd been damaged in an Imperial attack. 
the Empire could have easily stopped the Rebels from getting any of these replacement parts. For example, restricting the movement of these supplies, or just keeping a better track of all fuel to ensure that it can't fall into Rebel hands. This will force the Rebels to become desperate and act hastily. At the end of the day, if they need fuel to keep the life support systems on, then they're going to start doing more and more daring things. They may choose to attack an Imperial fuel refinery, and since you know they need fuel, you can just go and wait at the closest fuel refineries with an Imperial garrison and destroy them when they arrive. Or you could have trackers installed on all of the cargo that you believe is going to be stolen, which would eventually lead you and the Imperial fleet right back to the Rebels fleet where it would be destroyed. Ultimately, I don't believe it would have realistically been too difficult to actually track down the Rebels. The Imperials had the manpower, they had the technology, but for some reason they chose to use it just a bit stupidly. They would rather send entire Star Destroyers and squadrons on fruitless patrol runs where the Rebels would surely be avoiding them. Perhaps if the Empire would have focused more on the resources that the Rebels needed, as opposed to wildly speculating on their location or just using probe droids for the look of the draw, then they would have tracked down the Rebels far sooner, and ultimately maybe even have survived past Endor. But what do you guys think? How could the Empire have easily tracked down the Rebellion? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, if so please remember to like, share and sub as it is really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also please do remember to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy and tick the bell to get regular updates. But most importantly, thank you so so much for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.